Hey guys, what's up? Kayla of Mac here. So today I'm going to be showing you um, how to take a video raw off your camera that uh, if your camera shoots in 1290 by 1080p, 24 frames, 25 frames, whatever you shoot in 30, 60, or probably not 60, but um, whatever you shoot, you shoot in, as you know, these files can be huge and they can take up a lot of space on your computer. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take that raw file, then compress it into an Apple Pro Res 422 LT and then being which makes it be able to be carried into Final Cut Pro where you don't have to do anything any type of rendering which you would have to do with the raw file and then being able to export it and from all of those transitions your raw file off your camera will be the exact same quality as it is when it's exported now I think that's how all videos should be but a lot of times it's a lot harder so these are the applications that we're going to be using today um, we're using MPEG stream clip okay then we're using Final Cut Pro and that's it okay and then also um, wherever you're gonna put it online which could be Vimeo YouTube wherever you choose so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go over to my applications and I'm just gonna open up MPEG stream clip uh, everybody MPEG, MPEG stream clip is the free application of this tutorial the expensive one is Final Cut Pro but I'm sure you can steal it off the internet but I'm not telling you to but you can so what I would do if once you get MPEG stream clip go to list batch list and I find this this the actual easier way and then you're gonna go here export to QuickTime, OK, then um, I'm just going to choose where I want it to be. I'm just going to choose remote shooting, then click select. This is the very important you part, you guys, the movie exporter. So choose your quality to be 100%. Since I know my frame rate was 24, I'm going to put that in. And it's 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p, unscaled. So then I'm going to unclick interlaced scaling, and then up here, the most important part, compression. Uh, you're going to go up here to Apple ProRes 422 LT. I'm not sure what LT stands for, but it works the best. So I did a lot of um, trial and error to find the best codec. Codacking, codacking, whatever you want to call it, is a very hard thing, a very, really hard um, thing with video. So anyway, then you're going to click to batch and then go. And right there it's going to start. And since this is a short video, it should do it really fast. So, um... Once it's done, okay, guys, yeah. so it's almost done and it looks like it's complete. So, as you can see, it says completed for your status, so you know that it is done. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and quit MPEG Stream Clip um, and just go here to where I saved it, and here it is. Now, the thing is, right here, the raw file straight from the camera is um, the same file name as the compressed file. So, what I'm just gonna do is rename it to that and then I'm going to carry it straight next to the one on the desktop. This way we can both have them. And if you seriously don't believe that they're the same, just go ahead and open up one, look at it, then open up the uh, rendered one, and if you look at every little detail, they seriously, they're the same. Uh, if it does, I'm pretty sure it loses seriously nothing. So now we have this, and I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro, so this is the only thing in this tutorial that costs money. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and open up Final Cut Pro. I'm going to wait till it opens. Once it is, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, guys, so Final Cut Pro is open. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to open up the Finder window, click Desktop, and then right here, the Move. This is the compressed one. And what I'm going to do, let me, I'll put in the normal one, too. So this is the original MV... I so I'm gonna put it in the timeline okay and just click yes it's gonna do its thing so because it was able to figure that out um, you'll be able to have it but this one the final one here um, I'm gonna click yes it's gonna do its thing and then it's like done okay um, then so once it's done I'm going to show you, so it's in here, and then what I like to do is render it, even though you don't even have to, but just do it anyway, and export QuickTime Movie, and then this is pretty important too, so you, you could do setting current settings, but what I like to do to make sure, 
I go down to Apple Pro Res 422 LT, which is this whole area right here. And then you just find where you um, recorded it in, which is right here. And audio and video, uh, name it. And where, save. And then it's going to export it. And it's right there on my desktop. So I'm not even going to save that. But it's right here. And you just open it up. And it's the same quality that it was okay, so what are you gonna do? since the very beginning, which is this right here. So what I'm going to do, see, they're, they're exactly the same, but since my computer, it's kind of slow, so I can't really play both at the same time. But, yeah. So I have all three of these files right here, but I'm just going to trash them and delete them. So, guys, I hope that helped you out in a way as to how to help you uh, get the file off your camera, then compress it to make it be already rendered, and then have the fastest export ever. And, uh, of course, the longer the video, the longer the compressions, and also the longer the export. So, I hope that kind of helps you out um, with the raw canon video files. Thanks for watching.